So it's that time of year where the heating's gone on and occasionally we need to use dehumidifiers to reduce the ambient humidity in some of our rooms, like our bedroom here. Now typically what I do is I put on a, de a couple of dehumidifiers, one in our um, library room where we tend to hang out our um, laundry and another in the lounge downstairs. And I put those on overnight um, during the t cheap Octopus Go um, tariff period so that they run nice and cheaply. And it just sort of pulls the humidity down a little bit um, in the house in general. And then I open up the doors to the bedrooms to, uh, to let that air circulate a little bit. Occasionally I use a dehumidifier in the bedroom directly during the day just to um, drop it down a little bit if it's got a little bit high. Um, but often um, the running it a couple of hours overnight is sufficient. So I just want to show you quickly. Uh, this is uh, one of our um, th hydro hydro hygrometers. hygrometers. Um, it shows the temperature and the humidity. You can see at the moment the humidity in the bedroom here is about 66% and it um, sometimes gets a bit higher than that and that's a little bit too humid really for sort of healthy living and occasionally it means we get a little bit of condensation which um, is not ideal. So I like to try and drop it down a bit below 60% if I can. Whenever it gets above 60, I'll, um, I'll use the dehumidifiers to just to take the edge off. But a lot of people ask me in my stats videos when I show that I'm using dehumidifiers, they ask me why I don't use the dry mode uh, that our air conditioning units can do. So this is one of our air conditioning units here. Now, all air conditioning units can, um, obviously they, they can run cool mode, they can also run um, in heating mode, which is what we typically use our air conditioning units for, and we, uh, we heat our house using them. Um, but they also have what's called dry mode. Now this is, it's a bit of a fake mode really, um, because uh, it's designed to uh, reduce the humidity um, in a room, um, using less energy than you would normally use in cool mode. So this is a mode that I think was popularized in Japan where um, they were sort of keen on improving energy efficiency. So they introduced this, this dry mode that people could use instead of the, the cooling mode to uh, help reduce the, um, the humidity and also the temperature in, um, in, the, in the buildings. Now, uh, I was quite keen to try the dry mode when we first got these units installed. So I was thinking that would be brilliant. I can get rid of my, my dehumidifiers. That will uh, solve a problem. And I did try the dry mode um, a couple of times. However, I noticed that uh, even though uh, obviously it was, it was dehumidifying the rooms, it was at the expense of a lot of very cold air. Now, uh, I, I took some um, footage uh, using my thermal camera um, a little bit earlier with, the, um, with the, the units in heating mode. And you can see actually that um, when they're in heating mode, the, uh, the air that comes out of the, of the units is roughly 40 degrees, something like that, um, right next to the fan, because the fan's spinning and pushing the, the, the warm air out. And that's around about 40 degrees. And obviously that's what heats your, heats your house. However, I then put it in dry mode using exactly the same settings. Uh, and um, you can see that in fact, the uh, temperature of the, the fan and the air coming out had dropped right down to basically about zero degrees, one, one degree, two degrees, something like that. Now, uh, that's fine for short periods, but uh, really you don't want to be using uh, dry mode in the winter when uh, you want to be heating your house and you're just blasting cold air. Like, it's not a lot of cold air, but it's noticeable. Like, I, I tried it out in, in the office when I first got these units and, uh, and it, it, it cooled the room down very, very quickly, actually. Uh, and uh, so I, I had to turn it off um, within about 20 minutes and had to put the heating back on again. So uh, that experiment was very uh, short-lived. Um, I decided that um, actually dry mode was not worth um, using and uh, I went back to using the dehumidifiers because my justification was, well, I don't really want to be uh, uh, cooling the house down in winter. I want to be heating the house up. Uh, now the argument could be that, okay, I could cool the house using dry mode dehumidify the house and then put the heating back on again. But if I was to do that, for every kilowatt hour of heat that I uh, take out of the house using this dry mode, I'd have to put back in another two kilowatt hours of heat in heating mode because um, I, obviously that one kilowatt hour of heat that gets pulled out, I'd have to replace that and then add in another kilowatt hour of heat um, if I actually wanted to heat the house up again. So um, uh, you wouldn't really gain anything in terms of energy efficiency by using the uh, the, de the uh, air conditioning units to um, dehumidify and then to heat your house. I, um, 
I realized that that was probably not going to be um, the best way of doing it and it certainly wasn't comfortable because it was it was literally cooling the house down I didn't want that I wanted to be I want the house to be nice and warm and what I want to do is run the heating nice and consistently through the day at a low rate low rate so that we get the best efficiency so um, what I did I went back to using the dehumidifiers we have two different types of dehumidifiers I'll show you those in a minute and uh, those um, they uh, they actually run at quite a low power rating. Uh, there are two types that we've got here. Um, we've got a compressor type and a desiccant type. So the compressor type um, works exactly the same as uh, as an air conditioning unit. In fact, it's a it's a heat pump, and what it does is it um, it cools down one heat exchanger and heats up another. It pulls air through the cold one. The um, moisture in the air condenses on that cold um, uh, heat exchanger and then uh, the air goes and uh, passes through the, um, the hot heat exchanger and heats up and then gets expelled from the unit and all of the uh, moisture that's condensed onto the cold um, heat exchanger then gets drained away into a, into a reservoir that you can then pour out um, uh, at the end of the, uh, the dehumidif de dehumidification session. Uh, the um, uh, desiccant dehumidifier works slightly differently. It has a desiccant material, that's a material that absorbs moisture from the air um, and it passes that so it pulls air through um, using a fan pulls it through that material that absorbs the um, moisture from the air that then rotates past a hot um, plate which then dries out that desiccant material um, all of the, uh, the the moisture gets um, drained away into a, into a reservoir again and the hot air then gets blown blown out so what typically um, happens is that the compressor type is a little bit more efficient at pulling moisture out of the air when the um, when the air is sort of typical um, room temperature uh, for a given wattage. So um, for our compressor type, uh, it tends to draw somewhere between 200 and 250 watts, and it pulls out quite a lot of moisture from the air. It's noticeably more, in fact, than the desiccant one. Now the desiccant dehumidifier tends to draw closer to 300, 350 watts. Um, and it doesn't draw out quite as much moisture from the air. So um, I would favor the compressor type of dehumidifier, generally speaking, if you're um, concerned with energy efficiency. Um, but the, uh, the desiccant one runs a lot quieter because the, obviously the compressor one has a compressor and a fan. It tends to run a lot more, uh, a lot noisier. So what, what I use, what I tend to do is use that one in the lounge where it's further away from, from the bedroom overnight so that when that's running it doesn't disturb us and the desiccant dehumidifier we use in the um, in the library where we put our laundry out and that's closer to our bedroom so that runs much more quietly and we do, I don't notice that um, overnight so that's the reason I got the desiccant one to uh, to serve that purpose but if I'm running if I need to reduce the, the humidity in the bedroom for example during the day I'll bring up the um, the compressor dehumidifier and I'll put that in the bedroom and I'll run that for a couple of hours just to, to drop the humidity in the bedroom here and that works pretty well and of course because uh, any any power that you put into a to a, um, uh, a an appliance in your house all of that power that gets consumed by that appliance ultimately ends up as heat in in the house so for for all of those 200 to 250 watts that goes into the uh, um, the compressor dehumidifier that ultimately ends up as heat and I'll, I can show you the uh, the temperature of the air coming out of the the compressor dehumidifier is about 30 32 degrees to see something like that um, whereas the desiccant dehumidifier uh, draws a little bit more more power about 300 350 watts and actually the air coming out of that is closer to 40 degrees uh, and I can show you the uh, the thermal imaging camera um, you know, that I recorded earlier for that as well uh, and so when running the dehumidifiers I'm actually contributing heat to the, the house rather than trying rather than cooling it down as it would if I used the, the dry mode for the um, the air conditioning units there. The other benefit of course when you're running a dehumidifier is that um, by drawing air out uh, drawing water out of the air and converting it from um, vapor in the air into liquid water you actually gain some of the energy that was um, uh, used to create the vapor in in the water uh, when you turn it into into liquid water some of that um, is called latent heat the latent heat of evaporation of water then gets also released into the room so by reducing the humidity in your room you actually also gain a little bit of extra free uh, energy um, that you can put into the room as well so using dehumidifiers in that way um, 
does also help heat the rooms a little bit. It's obviously not as efficient as using um, our air conditioning units in heating mode because when we're doing that, we're, we're getting you know, three to four times as much heat as the amount of electrical energy that we put in. Whereas a dehumidifier, you're getting out a little bit more heat than the energy you put in. So all of the electrical energy that you put in, you get that out as heat one to one, um, 100%, and you get a little bit of extra heat from the, uh, the conversion of that vapor uh, into liquid water. So um, that's the main reason why we use dehumidifiers rather than the air conditioning units. Um, we don't really want to cool the house down. I want to keep the house nice and warm. Um, and uh, actually it's pretty energy efficient to run the, uh, the dehumidifiers anyway. So um, uh, uh, just running them a couple of hours a day, we're um, using only about a half a kilowatt hour. Um, so uh, yeah, it's not too bad. So yeah, that's it. That's all I really wanted to, to share with you today. Um, I'll probably do a separate video um, talking a little bit more about those two different um, types of dehumidifier. If you're interested, let me know. Um, otherwise, I won't, uh, won't go on any longer than that. I think this video is probably long enough. Um, thanks very much for watching, and I hope that answered uh, some of your questions, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.